A new Smash character, who's going to be? Sora, Sephiroth, 2B, Lara Croft, Master Chief. Like we're still expecting someone else uh -oh. to arrive. Oh, God. New fighter? Who's it going to be? Oh, okay, this is it. Wait, new fighter right now. Okay, they're doing it right away. Oh, God, wait, wait, wait. Okay, what's the background? What's the background? This is it. Last minute predictions. I gave him my five. I gave him my five predictions. Don't mess with me, man. Sora, Sephiroth. Come on, who's it gonna be? I don't know, man. It might be Sora. Keyblade. I say Keyblade shoots up into the sky right now. Whoosh, like a keyhole. Sephiroth. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god, it's Sephiroth! One winged angel! Holy oh, shit! There's no goddamn way. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god! No! What? <laughs> no way in hell! I can't believe it. One winged angel. Oh my god. Oh, we're playing Smash again, baby. We're playing Smash again. What? Oh my god. This is it. This is it. I told you I needed this cop. One winged angel. One winged angel. I can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it's happening. Meteor! He's summoning Meteor! Step it up. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. He just killed him. No! <laughs> Not Mario! Not Mario! <laughs> oh my god! The Advent Children shots! Are you seeing this? Guys. I can't believe this is happening. Mario! You evil son of a bitch! Omni Slash! I can't believe. I can't believe it. Wait. I will never be a memory. December, it's coming, it's coming this month. All right, the fun is just getting started. What? This show is also about what? awards. And I'm in shock. Awards. Can't believe what we just saw. This is unbelievable. In what universe? Uh, listen, I was like, maybe Sora. Maybe Sora. But Sephiroth, man, he's the most iconic villain. He's got to be in there. Why don't they do it? But I thought they wouldn't. And now here we are. When an angel started playing, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I thought I was losing my mind. Because I'm so tired today. I was like, there's no way. The implications, guys. The implications of this. The callbacks to Advent Children and the I will never be a memory line. I'm telling you, this is this is the implications of it being canon in FF7 Remake. Foreshadowing, exactly, Zaladin. The implications that's going to come full circle into Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 3, Part 2, Part 3. I'm telling you, man, this is huge. This is freaking huge. Occasions of showing that. Advent Children has been like, yeah, we don't really talk about it anymore. I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. The whole trailer was just the end of Advent Children, yeah. Mario skewered having advent children Sephiroth like that is Sephiroth in Final Fantasy 7 remake That's why he knows what's going on. There's like different versions of him in the game Sakurai is a genius and he knows how to get those memes going like <laughs> Sephiroth skewering Mario So now every meme Lord is gonna be posting somebody else skewered like no not Mario Because that reaction that I had is like the meme <laughs> You killed Mario too? Not Mario 
<laughs> oh god, no, Sephiroth, no, please. Think about Smash Bros. Now you can literally have Sephiroth versus Ganondorf. Like, dude, we can have Sephiroth and Ganondorf versus Cloud and Link on a team. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Most iconic gaming villain of all time. I've been saying it for the longest time. Most iconic gaming villain of all time. How are they not putting him in Smash Bros? Now that he's there, dude, Smash Bros really is becoming like the most legendary place. Uh, all the legendary gaming figures in history. And that's what I like so much about Smash Bros, what it's becoming. Add, if they add like Lara Croft, Master Chief, and a few more, that's it. It's like all the most iconic people ever. Actually, very well done, too. This is a very well-directed trailer. It's like, this this area is nothing... Oh, are they in the Northern Crater? Is that where they're supposed to be? I don't think so. It's just kind of like a nondescript location. But yeah, this is... Uh... I remember right here, I was like, yeah, we're going to see a Keyblade come up. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Yeah, he one-shots the end boss of Smash Bros. This is the only room for one end. I shall give Smash despair. That's what he said. He looks good. He looks good. I can't believe it, dude. Oh, he's got protect. He's got protect. Oh, dude, his moveset is crazy. He's got the stance, too. Watch, Mario. Yeah, why does he get the one wing? It must be like a power-up that he gets. Does he have a different move set? Oh my god. Meteor. See, is this his level? Like, what's his level? I mean, come on, dude. Bayonetta? Yeah. Good luck. Greninja? Get bodied. No! Mario, no! I just love that it's Advent Children. I'm telling you, man, the implications of this being Advent Children is huge. Very well shot fight scene, too. His final smash is... I mean... Hello? Can we just look at this? Wait, wait, wait. Like, what? Yeah, that's Seraph Sephiroth. I'm gonna try and pause it on the stage, because I didn't, I still didn't get a look, good look at the stage. Uh, you guys said it's like Northern Crater, most likely. Like where you fight Genova and Sephiroth. What other villain has, you know, their name as a lyric in their theme song? Sends to battle, that's a good. <laughs> I mean, so if you guys don't know, this is the same exact shots from Smash Bros. Recreated. I mean, this is cool. I'm curious if this is actually part of the game or if it's just a little cinematic they made with, uh, cause this is, you know, this is the iconic scene, you know, where he burns down the town. Yeah, he looks, he looks good. He looks good. They did a really good job. Like in the Smash style, you know? Sephiroth can tie me up. Wait, what? Tie you up? The first scene with Sephiroth has now like what four versions? OG Crisis Core remake and now Smash. Yeah, exactly. There's so much. I got chills. Thanks for watching. No problem, man. Yeah, I want to see the. Uh, this is is this the stage right here? Or is this the Fire Emblem stage? I don't actually know. That's the city he burned. It doesn't look like Nibelheim, to be honest. It doesn't look like it because there's no like colonnades and stuff. It's all like medieval looking houses. Snake. Snake body. Okay, this is Bayonetta stage. I'm headed to have a great night. Thank you so much, Shane, for being here, man. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for the gift subs, too, man. Really appreciate the support. Let's play Smash soon. Yeah, this is Bayo stage. All right, let's see what's next. This is like New Pork City or something. Or Pokemon stage. Wait, he can do that? I think it's his wall jump. Look. Yeah. It's his wall jump. He jumps up like that. Okay, this is Cloud stage. That's why I'm confused. This is Cloud stage. Midgar. Okay, this is Castlevania stage. This is Ice Climbers. That's Breath of the Wild. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. What was this move? He did something to Link. Oh, this is the stage. Yep, this is it. It's the Genova. It's the, uh, yeah. It's the live stream, man. Inside the planet. Inside the live stream, the Northern Crater. Oh, that's, that's a cool level, man. That's a really cool level. This might actually be tournament friendly, too. Look, it's just a, just a level with two... Platforms. Oh, wait, the high wind. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? The high wind? Are you seeing this? Look. Uh, okay. So this this could be pretty big. We have never seen the high wind in like remake timeline. So this could be our first image of the high wind. Look, it's flying out of. The like, what is this? Okay, I got a feeling. 
that this level is going to like morph. That would be very cool and it changes a bit. I don't know what this is. He's walking into the void, which is the end of FF7 Remake. Uh, not Zelda. Oh! <laughs> um. Zephyr said, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. Uh, we know what this is a reference to. We won't say anything. This is Sheik, Terry Bogard. So is that his defense? He just like jumps back? Oh my God. Three houses stage? I don't know, man. That would be awesome. I mean, I love the Advent Children recreation of the shots. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah, we don't talk. So yeah, I'm guessing it's like actually cloud, and he actually builds up his uh, his gauge or something. And then he can he can be one winged angel. I'm assuming. Very interesting. Does he get a new move set? Like what happens here? Captain Falcon bodied, gone, finished, man. Finished. I mean, come on, that's such a cool image. It's Meteor. Yeah, look, no, 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 this is it. This is the confirmation. The stage does change. Look, the stage does change. It's the same ground. It's the same ground, and this is like, you're seeing Meteor fall into Midgar, most likely. Oh, I like this. I like this. So the reason this is actually really cool is, yeah, it could be Cosmo Canyon, is it's gonna give us a lot of music because if it's a, it's a level that like cycles around, they'll probably put in like Cosmo Canyon music Northern Crater Music, Judgment Day, One Way and Angel, Genova Absolute, uh, Genova Normal Theme, World Map Theme. Like they're gonna probably dump a bunch of songs on us. So that's exciting. Yeah, Cosmo Canyon music. Cause look, that's the level. This is still the level. I'm trying to look at the background. That was like nighttime. Uh, are we? Can we just talk about this image? Look at this image, man. Look at this image. Never look at the explosion, Sephiroth. Sephiroth plus Cloud plus Link plus Ganon or Link plus Cloud. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can do all these crazy things. So handsome. You know it. Scintilla. Looks like he gains advanced moves. Yeah, man. He looks great. He looks great. Yeah, Bayo and Greninja. Hilarious. Get out of here. And this is the Cloud fight. <laughs> Poor Mario. <laughs> Poor Mario, man. He's dead. They tried. They tried. They could never, man. They could never dream of it. They deserve that. They don't know who they're dealing with, man. Bayonetta? Get out of here. Greninja? A furry? No. No furry beats Sephiroth. He got what he deserved. That's damn right. That range. Yeah, man. Some great shots here. If we go back to that, let me pause play here. That's a great shot. Very nice. Advent Children Cloud, which is another funny detail. <laughs> Did you guys notice, by the way, that he actually still has Mario on the sword right here? Look. He's going to send Mario flying. <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. Yeah, this is great. Very well done. Very well crafted. Like, I talk about a lot. I did a full... If you guys are interested in uh, the full breakdown... From a cinematic standpoint, I broke down the whole ending of FF7 Remake um, on YouTube. If you want to see like the shot selection they used for that, it's really damn good in the fight scene. The duel. Omni Slash. Very good. So cool, man. So cool. Notice they say FF7, not FF7 Remake. Just a nice detail to note. Yeah, exact. I, I think they used like the animation references from Advent Children. It's so exact. Most likely did use those assets, you know. Like it says, clap. Scintilla is the move they gave him in Dissidia. It's where he parries the move and unleashes further blows. Oh, cool. So it's a reference to that, maybe. Thanks for those links, Sephiroth. I think now what they're doing is probably saving some budget by not hiring the TV stars from America who play these guys in English, right? But yeah, this is... <laughs> this is intense. With freaking Supernova. It's Supernova, dude. Yeah. 
His uh, his his final attack is supernova. What sword is Cloud using? Uh, it's called the. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. They don't they don't ever say it in Advent Children, but it's like uh, the sword that deconstructs and there's like five swords that go inside each other. It's pretty cool. It's something Cloud designed after the the game. But it's from Advent Children. Mathematical, scientific, or sorry, like astronomical sign that's in the game. So yeah, it's going to be, yeah, the fusion sword, I think it's called. Supernova, man. That's pretty cool. But I mean, look, that, it's just cool because that's the final boss image. You know, like this is how you fight him with that background and stuff. So kind of intense to see what Sephiroth said. Yeah, fusion sword. It's like alchemy. Very interesting, guys. I must say, very, very interesting. I did not expect this. Very fascinating. Uh, Rewatch season. Okay. Uh, you said you put it in Discord? And to see this, like, end boss Sephiroth is very cool, man. We've never seen it still in the remake, so. It's still, you know, technically referencing FF7, not the remake. There's a couple details here. If you actually note his sword, if you look at the pommel of his Masamune, there was one close-up shot there with Zelda. If you look at the Masamune right here, for example, you will note that it is actually a slightly different shade than an FF7 remake. I can't tell if it's the lighting of the level or not in Found of Dreams, but this is actually blue in FF7 Remake. And it could be here. It's kind of hard to see. It does look kind of gray or black, though. So there are little, like, differences. But then again, there's differences with uh, Cloud, too. From FF7 Remake. So they had to kind of match it to the Smash Bros. style. But I'm incredibly excited. Very, very excited to see what happens next, guys. And I just can't believe it. We'll get new songs. So if anybody knows anything from, you know, other announcements that happened, let me know as far as, like, uh, as far as Sakurai saying when we get more info on this guy or when he's going to show up. But that is just <laughs> insane. I cannot, I cannot believe it. Me and Crystal got an event coming up soon. We'll be talking about it very soon. Please hop into the Discord. Thank you so much, Sephiroth, for the links. Hop over to the gaming channel. I'm going to upload this full reaction. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate all of the support and the friends that were here with us tonight. It was a really good time. Thanks for the gift subs. Thanks for the resubs. Thanks for the bits. Lots of support. I appreciate you guys. Event coming up soon with more announcements. And I will be streaming tomorrow for Friday Fun Day. I don't think Sephiroth's out yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you, guys. Yeah, about four hours. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you then.